happy Thursday. So for tonight's class, we're going to go a little more towards our traditional bar class. Um, so we're going to need a lights and a weights. And then if you've got like a bender ball, Pilates ball, or even a small pillow, you can grab that as well. So one of the pillars of our bar above um, foundation is Pilates. So we're going to start with a bit of a Pilates warm up. And then we'll go into some traditional bar moves and then end with some Pilates core and a stretch. We are gonna follow our more traditional um, warm up floor and then bar and then abs and cool down. So I'll press play and we'll get started. Hopefully it's not too loud. Where did it go? Tell you what, technology today has not been my friend. There we go. Okay. So you're going to want to grab your pillow or your um, small ball here. We're going to start with it. And we're going to place it mid-thigh. So we're going to go a little slower than usual. But what I want you to focus on is just having enough pressure to keep this ball here. What we're working initially is our core and our pelvic floor. A lot of times people think they have weak pelvic floors, but a tight pelvic floor can also put pressure on your bladder and cause incontinence and things like that. So we want to just have this light pressure here. You may or may not feel your pelvic floor um, engage and like disengage or, you know, contract and release. There shouldn't be any discomfort in this though. You should just be able to hold this ball here or a small pillow, even maybe a yoga block. And we're just going to stand with our toes facing forward. So just nice and easy here. Just take a few breaths. And then we're going to inhale arms up. And exhale down. Inhale up. And exhale down. Inhale up. And exhale down. Inhale up. And exhale down. We're going to add on. We inhale arms up. We're going to exhale down. Squat. And rise. Let's do that again. Inhale up. Exhale down. We're gonna squat and rise. Inhale up. Exhale down. Squat. And rise. Let's do one more here. Inhale up. And exhale down, squat, and hold here. Bring the hands in. So we're still just engaging enough to keep that ball or that small pillow in place so we're not squeezing. Breathe through it. Straighten the legs. I'm going to turn sideways. Inhale up. We're going to exhale down. Bring our hands to our thighs. We're going to bend. We're going to go through flexion and extension. So a bit different than cat and cow. So we're going to have a flat back. And then we're going to press and really arch. Tuck the chin. Come back to your flat back. Press in, arch. So we inhale. And exhale. Inhale. And exhale. Inhale. And exhale. Inhale back to that neutral spine. And then just roll up. We're just gonna bend and straighten. 
Still a light engagement on this ball or your pillow or yoga block. For a four, three, two, and one. So I'm gonna be slightly diagonal here. We're gonna inhale our arms up. We're gonna exhale four fold. Walk your hands out. And we're in downward dog. If this isn't great for you, you can come to your wall. So again, still light engagement on that ball. We're just gonna inhale and exhale here. Then bring the knees down to the mat. I'll back up some so you can see. There we go. Light engagement here. Toes are tucked under. I'll face side so you can see my toes. Toes are tucked under. You have the option of staying here or we lift the knees and lower. Lift and lower. Lift and lower. Lift and lower. Lift and lower. We have four more here and lower. Three and lower. Two, and lower. One more, and lower. We're gonna press back into that down dog. We're gonna lift our heels. Lift, and lower. Lift, and lower. Lift, and lower. Lift, and lower. For four, and lower. Three, and lower. Two, and lower. Last one here. We're gonna come back down. And then back up to our downward dog. If you'd like, try hovering the knees and press back into the downward dog. So it's hover, down dog. One more here, hover, down dog. Come up onto the balls of your feet, walk your toes in, bend the knees, and roll up. All right, we're gonna do that again. I'm gonna face this way this time though. All right, inhale your arms up. Exhale, forward fold. Walk your hands out so that you're in downward dog. You're gonna either come all the way to your knees or hover back to down dog. Hover, down dog, hover. And down dog. This time, bend the knees and walk the hands back. Come up. And we squat. We have four more here. Three, two, and one. Check in. Make sure you just still have that light engagement on the ball. Take a couple of breaths here. Feeling hot, inhale through the nose, exhale through the mouth. All right, release that ball. You're gonna bring the ball to both hands. Squeeze in with the hands and squat. Squat. For four, three, weights in the heels, two, and one. Down, halfway lift, down, halfway lift, down, halfway lift, down, halfway lift, down, halfway lift. For four, 
three, two, hold down, pulses up and down with the legs. Breathe here. For four, three, two, hold the squat, press in on the ball, press, 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 and press. For four, three, two, and one, four fold. Bend the knees and roll up. All right, so I'm gonna come forward a little on my mat. We're gonna step back with one foot. Doesn't matter which foot you do, because we're gonna do both sides. So step back. Bring the arms up. You're gonna place that ball, if you have one or a small pillow, right in that crease here. You have the option to stay here. If you're feeling wobbly, you can always widen your base support by bringing that back leg further towards that edge of that mat. All right, option to stay here or we hinge forward. So you're gonna crush that ball, that pillow between your thigh and your stomach here. Arms come back. You have the option to hold here. Or let's pump the arms up and down. So the ball is nice because it helps support your low back here and your core while we really get to work on those legs and arms. Lift, 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 lift. For four, three, two, and one. Rise up. You're gonna place that back heel down. Bring your arms up like you're in warrior one. Then we're gonna open to warrior two here. We're gonna place that ball again in the crease. This arm is gonna come down. You're gonna crush that ball here. You're gonna reach and up. 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 Reach and up, reach and up, reach and up. We have two more here on the legs burning. And one, grab that ball. We come back to our warrior two here. Bring your arms forward, back into that warrior one, back into that crescent. We're just gonna lower and up, down 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 and up. For four, three, two, and one. Bring that ball down, bend the knees, step forward, four fold. Take a moment to breathe here. Keep the eyes open. Yeah. All right, bend the knees and roll up. We gotta do the other side. So we're gonna step back with your other foot. You're gonna place that ball right in that crease where our leg is bent here, right like near our hip flexor. Hinge forward, trap that ball between your abs and your thigh here. You have the option to stay here or pulse those arms up and down. It's lift, 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 and lift. Breathe through it. For four, three, two, and one. Come up. You're gonna place that back heel down. Arms come up. We're open to warrior two here. 
Again, place that ball, that little pillow here in that crease. You're gonna hinge forward, back arm, reach and up, 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 reach and up. Two more here. Last one here. Grab that ball. We're gonna come back to our lunge here, our crescent. Bend the knees, step forward. I'm gonna step back so you can see my arms a little better. We're gonna come up, behind, up, and center. Up, behind, up, and center. Up, behind, up, and center. Up, behind, up, and center, up, behind, up, and center. Bring your feet to the edges of your mat here. Hands can either stay at the chest or they come overhead, frame your head. All right, we bend to one side and center. Other side and center. So we're just bending to where our obliques kick in. Side and center. 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 We have four more here. And center. Three. And center. Two. And center. One more. Bring the hands to the front. Step in to a narrow stance. We're keeping the ball here. And it's down and up. Down and up. Down and up. Down and up. So weights in the heels. We have four more here. Three, two, we're gonna add a knee lift. So it's squat and lift, squat, lift, squat, lift, squat, and lift for four. Three, two, and one. Hold the squat, press in on the ball. Doing awesome. For four, three, two, and one. Four fold. You can let the ball go away for a bit. Bend the knees, roll up. Woo, all right, grab water, grab your chair, I need my table and grab a light or medium set of weights if you'd like. We're gonna burn out our legs a little. I'm gonna use three tonight. All right, we're gonna do a lunge series. I'm gonna step back with my foot closest to my table here. So set up just like this. Start with the arms. It's up for two and down. Camera curl up and down. Up and down. Up and down. Tempo. It's up and down. Up and down. Up and down. Up and down for four, three, two, 
and one. Down for two and up for two. Down and up. Down and up. Keep your upper body upright. Let's layer in the arms. It's bent and straighten. Bend and straighten. Bend and straighten. Bend and straighten. Tempo, it's down and up. Bend, bend and bend for four, three, two. Keep the arms here. It's down, halfway lift. Down, halfway lift. Down, halfway lift. Down, halfway lift. For four, three, two, and one. Hold here, pulses down and up. I know Brian's doing awesome. Woo. For four, three, two, bringing those weights in. We pulse for three, two, one, back leg lifts. Three, two, one, lift. Three, two, one, and lift. Three, two, one, and lift. Three, two, one, lift. Three, two, one, and lift. Three, two, one, lift. Three, two, one, and lift. Set those weights down. So that same back leg is gonna do all the work. Come into chair. Hands are here or here at the center. Deep bend in the knees. Back leg that did all the work is going to go heel and center. Side and center. We're going to go two to the back. One more to the back. Really engage the core here. We have heel and center. Side and center. Back and center. One more back. Back and center. Let's speed it up. It's heel. Side. Back. And back. I know it burns. Heel. Side. Back. And back. Heel. Side. Back. And back. One more. Heel. Side. This time, just one back. Tap side. And we curtsy. And tap. Curtsy. Doing awesome. Tap. Curtsy. And tap. Curtsy. And tap. Pulse for three. Pulse. Two. Three. And tap. Pulse. Two. Three. And tap. Pulse. Two. Three. And tap one more. Pulse. Step center. It's squat. Squat. I know Brian's doing awesome. We'll get a bit of a break before we do the second leg. Add that knee lift from before. It's squat. Lift. Squat. Lift. Squat. Lift. Squat. And lift for four. Three. Two, and one. Take a moment, shake that out, grab water. If you'd like, you need to do a figure four stretch here. Woo. And then keep moving a bit. Bring your heart rate down just a little before we do that other side. Remember, inhale through the nose, exhale through the mouth if you're feeling hot. Got a little bit more time. Ooh, I'm pouring sweat already. All right. Grab your weights. I'm gonna do the other side. So find that stance. Nice and tall, core is engaged.
We're starting with those bicep curls. Hammer curls. It's up for two and down. Up and down. Up and down. Up and down. For four. Three. Two. And one. Tempo. It's up and down. Up. So really keep those arms into your side. Don't grip too hard on the weights because then it becomes more of a forearm workout instead of your biceps. We have four. Three. Two. And one. Leg just down for two and up. Down and up. Down and up. Down and up. Add the arms down and up. Down and up. Down and up. Down and up. Tempo. It's down and up. Down and up. Down and up. Down and up. For four. Three. Keep the arms here too. And one. It's down. Halfway lift. Down. Halfway lift. Down. Halfway lift. Down. Halfway lift. For four. Three. Two. Keep the arms here. Pulses up and down. Woo. For four. Three. Two. And one. We pulse for three. Two. One. Lift. Three. Two. One. And lift. Three. Two. One. Lift. Three. Two. One. And lift. Three. Two. One. Lift. Three. Two. One. And lift. We have two more here. Last one here. All right, set those weights down. Find your stance here. That back leg is doing the work. Heel and center. Side and center. Back and center. Woo. Back and center. Heel and center. Side and center. Back and center. Back and center. Speed it up. It's heel. Side. Back and back. I know it burns. It's heel. Side. Back and back. Heel. Side. Back. And back. One more. Heel. Side. Back. Stand up. We curtsy. And tap. Curtsy. And tap. Curtsy. And tap. Curtsy. And tap. Pulse for three. It's pulse. Two, three, and tap. Pulse. 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 Step to this side. It's squat. Squat. Do it also. We're almost done with the series. I know you're listening just like me. Two, add in that knee lift, squat, lift, squat, lift, squat, lift, squat, and lift for four, three, two, and one. All right, take that figure four stretch on the other side if you'd like. 
you can sit down and do this as well. All right, move around a bit. Grab some water. Let that heart rate come down a little. You can walk around, step side to side. Whatever you need to do. We got a couple more leg burns. Then we'll be down on the floor. Promise. All right, I'm gonna put my weights out of the way because we're actually done with our weights for tonight. But you are gonna want your chair or sturdy desk. I'm gonna face sideways so that you can see me. But if you would like to hold on to your chair, your bar, whatever you have with both hands, that's totally fine. Move this up out of the way just a pinch. All right. So heels together, heels together, just like this. Bend and straighten. So remember you can hold on with both hands, you can face your bar. We are gonna be going side to side. All right. Keep the bend, hinge forward into the balls of those feet. Then bring your heels together if you need to. So heels are up just a little bit off the ground. Hold here. Bend, bend, bend. So I'm only coming about halfway for four, three, two, and one. Lift and lift, lift. For four, three, two, and one. If you want a challenge, you can go down, two, three, and four, and up, two, three, four. Down, two, three, four, and up, two, three, hold center, step out. And in. He'll stay up. For four. Three. Really engage that core here. Two. It'll protect your low back. Step out. Bend. Heels are up. Woo. Lower the heels. All right. For this next one, I am going to face sideways. Move this out of the way a little more. All right, feet are parallel. Zip everything together. Raise up, or I should say rise up, <laughs> onto the balls of the feet and hold. Lower, two, three, and lift. Lower, and lift, lower. And lift, lower, 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 lift, lower halfway, and rise, lower halfway, and rise, lower halfway, do it also, I know it burns, and rise. Lower halfway and rise. All the way down, up, down, up, down, up, down, and up for four, three, two, and one. Ooh, lower that down, take a moment, stretch out those calves. You can also use your wall here if you have a wall. Press your, the ball of your foot into the wall here. Or lunge forward, stretch out the back calf. 
whichever feels best for you. All right, come back. We're gonna have about a hip foot distance between our feet here. You can do this with your bender ball if you'd like, a little more spice or your pillow or your yoga block. If you need a little bit of a reminder of keeping that low engagement, step back with one foot. And we lower and lift. Step forward, step back with the other foot. Lower and lift. Step forward, step back with the other foot. Lower and lift, step forward. Step back with that other foot. Lower and lift. Step forward, lower it down. Take a nice stretch here. All right. Now that we've burned out a little bit of our legs, we're gonna move into core. So grab some water if you'd like it, and grab your small ball, bender ball, um, whatever you have. Let's see here. Okay. Yes. So we're going to come down to the floor. Just come down however is best for you to come down. I'm going to angle my mat just a smidge. Hopefully I don't bonk myself on the table. <laughs> okay, so we're going to start on the floor. We're going to have our ball behind our back. If you have not used a Pilates ball or a bender ball before. I'm going to turn sideways so you can see a little better. What we're going to do the easiest way to keep it here at your low back. Stick your legs straight up. Take the ball, place it behind you like you've got a bunny tail. It'll stay. You can hinge back. And then when you come up, it won't go anywhere. That's the trick. <laughs> but I'm going to face this way. For now, so place that ball behind you. Let me make sure I'm not gonna, there we go. Okay, I can come back. All right, bring your feet flat on the mat. Oh, might be better with music, huh? <laughs> music makes workouts better. All right. First thing we're gonna do, you can just hold behind your legs here. We're just gonna hinge back and up. Hinge back and up. You can let go, hinge back and up. Hinge back and up. We're gonna hinge back, lift the arms and hold. You might feel some shaking here. This is what we call earthquake in bar. Your weight can be on that ball, I promise. You're not gonna pop it. Woo. You might see me shaking a little. Even though we're laying on that ball, still engage your core here. Woo. Reach under the thighs and come up. So the next one we're gonna do before we add in arms, we're gonna roll down one vertebra at a time, like you're trying to roll all the way down to the floor. So you're gonna tuck your chin, roll down, and up one vertebra at a time. Roll down, and up. Roll down, and up. Roll down. And up. If you're feeling extra spicy, you can move that ball. You can do it without the ball. Roll down. And up. Roll down. And up. I'm going to place my ball back, though. We roll down. And up. One more. Down. 
and up. All right, we're gonna stick our legs straight out. So if you need to, readjust that ball, your little bunny tail there, feet are flexed. Same thing, we're gonna roll down. And up. If you would like, you can keep your feet flat just how we did it before. You don't have to straighten your legs out. Roll down. And up. Roll down. And up. Roll down. If you like, you can add a bit of a reach forward, then roll. You can bring the arms up, back down, roll up, and reach. Roll back, lift the arms up, back down, roll up, and reach. Woo! Let's grab our balls. We're gonna come into tabletop here. A little different than usual. I'm gonna show you the arms first. Toes are curled under. Knees are gonna still be under the hips. But instead of having hands directly in line under the shoulders here, the hand that has the ball is gonna be a little out to the side like this. You're still in line but the ball is out to the side. You're gonna press into that ball. So I'm gonna turn sideways, come forward a little actually so I don't kick <laughs> my table. All right, so whichever hand you would like first comes to like play that outside of that mat. Opposite leg is gonna go back. So for me, I have the ball on my watch hand here is my right hand. So I'm gonna stick my left leg back. Feel free to stay here. Or we lift and lower. 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 Lift and lower, lift and lower. This time you're gonna lift, hold the leg up. If you'd like a little more, that ball hand comes up and hold. Whew. For four, three, two, lower down. Can you take a moment to sit back here? We gotta do the other side. So same thing. Hand is out to the side here. All right, I'll face this way, I think. No, I'll stay this way. All right, so find your stance. So this time I have it, the ball under my ring hand here. So left hand for me. Let's take the right leg back and we lift and lower, lift, and lower, lift, and lower, lift. So we're just lifting to our glute engages. Lift, and lower, lift, and lower. One more, lift, and lower. So we lift and hold the leg. You could stay here or that bender ball, that hand comes out, and we hold here. For four, three, two, and one. Take a moment, sit back in child's pose here. All right. So, this next one, we're gonna come into what's called mermaid. Let's move over a little, and up a little, there we go. So, one leg has been out in front of you, the other leg is out to the side. 
we're not gonna curl it behind us like this. We're gonna keep it to the side. The ball or your small pillow is gonna go here in that crease right here. And you're gonna lay on it just like this. Other hand goes in front. Take a moment to breathe here, just like this. Let me move my little thing out of the way. There we go. All right, stay here, or you're gonna press up with this hand. Oblique crunches, crunch. So you can have this hand help you press, or you can lift with your obliques here. Let's do two more here, and one. All right, go to the other side. So same thing this side here. That ball is gonna go here on the side. You're gonna lay down and we're here. Take a moment to breathe here. If you're not gonna bonk yourself, I should be clear. Not, they'll be quite comical. All right, we're up, 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 up. You can also go at your own pace here. Don't feel like you have to stay with me. We have four more here. Three, two, and one. Woo. All right, let's come into a straddle here. I move the dog toys out of the way. Feet can be flexed. We're just going to press here on the ball. You're going to walk the ball out with your hands. Just go to where it's comfortable for you and then walk it back. If you're flexible and you can touch all the way down onto the floor, go ahead. We don't want to pull anything, so just go to where it's comfortable for you. Walk it back. Walk it out. And back. Walk it out. And back. This time, walk it out and hold. Press down on that ball. Breathe through the stretch. Walk that ball back up. All right, grab water if you need it. For our next few, well, actually, yes, our next two, we're going to be um, on our low back, on our back, and tabletop, but on our back for this first one. So keep your ball handy or your yoga block. You're going to lay back. Hold on to the ball with your hands. Bring one leg up, then the other. Head is down. Place the ball between your hands and your thighs here. Not all the way to your knees, but pretty close. You're gonna inhale, exhale, press. Release and press. So on your inhale, you release, exhale, press. Inhale, exhale. Inhale. Exhale, inhale, exhale, inhale, exhale. If you'd like to add your legs, you inhale, exhale, inhale, exhale, inhale, exhale, inhale, exhale. 
Inhale. Exhale. Inhale. Exhale. Inhale. Exhale. One more. Inhale. Exhale. Bring the feet down. You're going to take the ball or your yoga block or your small pillow, place it between the thighs. So just like we did earlier in the day, just enough to keep engagement of that ball. Hands are down. We're going to lift the hips and lower down. All the way down, lift the hips. And lower down. So you really use your core here. Lift the hips. And lower down. This time we're going to lift the hips. Lower halfway. Lift. 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 Lower halfway, lift, lower halfway, lift, lower halfway, lift and hold. Hold here. Still light engagement on the ball. For four. Three, two, lower down. Remove the ball. You can bring your legs into your chest. Take a moment here. Rock side to side. We've got one more exercise. And then we'll stretch. So a couple options for this one. You can be here, just like this. Or if you'd like, you're gonna take that ball or that small pillow, you're gonna place it right at like your sacrum here. Stick the legs up. You might feel a bit wobbly. That's normal, it's just your body trying to find stability on the ball. You're going to lower one leg and bring it up. Lower the other leg and bring it up. Lower and lift. Lower and lift. If you need a little more spice, you can grab that leg and switch. And grab, make it more Pilates like here, like mat Pilates. Or you can do a bed leg here. And then the other side. Whichever feels best for you. A couple more here. One more. All right, bring both feet up. Point the toes, bring the heels together. And we go back and forth here. If you need a little more spice, you can bring the legs down and up. Whatever feels best for you. For four. Three, two, and one. All right, carefully bend those legs. Come up onto the balls of your feet. Remove that ball or that pillow. Inhale, exhale, bring one leg into the chest and the other. Getting rock side to side here. Bring your feet flat to the mat. Zip everything up. Then heel toe your feet out. Knees are staying together here. And then 
Windshield wiper, so just side to side with the legs. You don't have to stick with me. If you like to take a little slower twist side to side, feel free. Come back to the center. He'll tell your feet back in. This time, bring the ball to your feet to touch. Let the knees and the thighs fall to the sides. Place your hands on the outside of your thighs. Help guide the legs back towards the center. Inhale and exhale, bring one leg into the chest. Inhale and exhale to bring the other one to meet it. Maybe draw some circles here on the ceiling. And other way. You're going to roll to one side. We're going to carefully come up. We're going to come to standing. Bring our feet wide. Inhale the arms up. And exhale them down. Inhale up. And exhale down. Now you can use your wall here or stay center. Place your hands here at your low back if you'd like. Bend the knee slightly, hinge forward, and then reach towards the floor. Let your head hang here. You can bend side to side here. Come back to the center. Walk your hands over to one side. Come back center. Walk to the other side. Come back center, bend the knees, roll up, inhale the arms up, exhale them down through cactus, inhale up, exhale through cactus, one more big inhale. Exhale through cactus. Inhale the arms up. And big exhale down. Great job, everybody. Hopefully you're listening as much as I was. Hopefully you liked it. I know it was a little different than we usually do, but um, it's good to work our you know, our core and our pelvic floor and make sure that we're actually engaging our core instead of, you know, lifting with our hip flexors and causing, you know, pain and discomfort in our lower extremities. So I will see you all next week and I hope you all have a great weekend. And for those of you in the snowy places getting snow this weekend, I hope you stay warm. So I'll see y'all later. Good night. Good night.